Emma Raducanu crashed out of the, in the first round as she was bageled by Annalena Kalanina, Emma. Raducanu suffered her first opening round defeat of the year as she crashed out of the counter open at the hands on Annalena Kalanina. It was a slow start for the Brit, who was bageled in the opening set before going out 6 0 in an hour and 38 minutes. Raducanu had another tough test in the seventh match of her comeback as she drew world no. 30 Kalanina in Doha. The Brit received a late wild card into the WTA 1000 event after her second round defeat in Abu Dhabi. But her time at the Qatar Open ended up being short lived as Kalanina made light work of the world. No. 262. Raducanu started the match with an ace, but struggled to win more points as the Ukrainians stormed through the opening set, breaking her opponent three times Kalanina. Wrapped up a dominant first set 6-0 in just 23 minutes as Raducanu hit 15 unforced errors and won just 5 points on her own service games, despite landing more first serves in the court. She continued to struggle in set 2, immediately relinquishing another break with her third double fault of the match. Raducanu finally got herself on the board with a break of serve to cancel out Kalanina's advantage in the second set. The 2021 U.S. Open winner pumped her first as she placed a winner perfectly in the corner of the court to win her first game. It was a turning point as the British no. 7 began to raise her level, saving another break point to take a Tuominous 1 lead. Raducanu majorly improved on her serve and fended off 4 more break points in the 7th game of the set. She finally succumbed to the 27-year-old in the 11th game as Kalanina needed just one break point to give herself a chance to serve for the match. Raducanu wasn't done yet as she saved two match points to keep herself alive, forcing a tie break. The Brit took the first mini break advantage, but she quickly lost it with a double fault. Another mini break gave Raducanu a set point on her own serve, but she couldn't take it as the world no. 30 came out on top after a lengthy rally.